naik perahu dari Kelaki ke Marina Bay. Sekarang kami mau ke counter ke sebelah sana ke depan itu uh, suamiku itu suka banget sama kapal perahu dan laut jadi uh, hari ini sore ini ini jam 5 sore kita mau naik perahu gelandangan suasana di sini ya lumayan sepi ya padahal ini hari kedua tahun baru uh, Januari 2020 ini di sore hari tapi kok sepi Welcome to Singapore River and thank you for cruising with Water B. Before you embark on your journey, we'd like to highlight some important guidelines for your safety and comfort. During boarding and alighting, the boat will be docked next to the stairway. Do take care when using the stairway and keep your hands on the railings at all times. Wait for the boat to come to a complete stop and mind the gap between the boat and the jetty. Step onto the boat one foot at a time. Be careful and don't bump your head on the wooden panels above the doorways at the front and the back of the boat. While on the boat, do not put your hand or stick anything out of the window. For your own safety, do not stand on your seats or climb onto the roof. Should a life jacket be required, you will find it underneath your seat or at designated marked compartments on the boat. Unbuckle the buckle at the front of the jacket. Stretch one of your arms into the life jacket. Then stretch your other arm into the life jacket and engage the buckle. Adjust the buckle strap for a tight but comfortable fit. There are two exit doors located at the front and the back of the boat. Life boys are also positioned at the front and back. In the event of a fire, fire extinguishers are located at designated marked locations inside the cabin. Smoking is not permitted on board the boat. Please do not throw any rubbish into the river. Please approach our crew members if you require any assistance. Thank you for cruising with Water B. We wish you a pleasant journey. Tiket perahu ini per orang itu orang dewasa. Kalau dirupiahin itu sekitar rp On your right is Riverside Point, built in the style of the go-downs or warehouses that once lined the river's banks. Clark Key on your left is now a thriving entertainment area eateries, night spots, and entertainment. But it was a very different place from the 1800s until just a few decades ago. Hundreds of bumboats, or lighters, used to be moored here at any one time, disgorging their cargo, the lifeblood of Singapore's trade. The buildings along most of the quay were mostly go-downs, where the cargo would have been stored. The shop houses were two to three floors high. Typically, the ground floors would have been reserved for the shops and trading offices, with the upper floors serving as housing for working-class families and coolies. Living conditions were not luxurious, but living near your workplace had some advantages. Named after Singapore's second governor, Sir Andrew Clark, Clark Key is considered a historically significant area, and plans were put in place to preserve its architectural character around the time of the Singapore River cleanup in the 1980s. It 
reopened in late 1993 as Clark Key Festival Village. In church and the former Parliament House. This is not the original bridge, which was rebuilt in 1865 and again in 1886. The current structure, modeled after the 1886 bridge, was built between 1986 and 1991 to accommodate greater traffic flow. Singapore's first bridge, built in 1890, stood at the current site of Elgin Bridge. Elgin Bridge was built with the purpose of connecting the Indian community in the north and the Chinese community in the south and was named after Lord Elgin, Viceroy in India, in 1862. <laughs> A vital part of Singapore from the earliest colonial days, Bokhi was, for over a century, the backbone of trade. This was where thousands of bumboats delivered their precious cargo, where enterprising traders and businessmen congregated, and where fortunes were made. Just opposite the spot where Sir Stamford Raffles, founder of modern Singapore, first landed, this area has remained vital throughout Singapore's history. Most of the businesses were confined to the south bank of the river, with the north bank reserved for government purposes. There is a good reason for that. At its widest point, the south bank swells to resemble the belly of a carp, an auspicious creature to the Chinese. Still in its original form, Built in 1869, it was originally planned to be named the Edinburgh Bridge to commemorate the Duke of Edinburgh's visit, but instead was named after Governor Sir William Kavanagh. The grand building just beyond Kavanagh Bridge is the Fullerton Building, now a five-star hotel. It was built on the site of the former Fort Fullerton. The fort had been heavily criticized for years. Merchants felt strongly about a possible military target being located so close to their businesses. So, the fort was eventually removed and replaced by the post office in 1874. The merchants were sure breathed a sigh of relief. The existing structure, built in 1928, served as the home of various government offices and as the general post office till almost the end of the century. In 1996, Refurbishment works were commenced, with the current Fulton Hotel opening in December 2000. Bye-bye, boy.